the use of Web 2.0 and, and the Internet in general, we think, is, is very important here. And we've seen a very significant increase in the use of conferencing facilities of all sorts, and particularly systems designed to reduce business travel as a result of the recession, making that even a stronger imperative for many companies. So, you know, not just audio conferencing, but increasingly web conferencing and companies such as WebEx, and now even more and more video conferencing. And this current generation of of video conferencing systems, uh, the halos and the telepresence, these things, they're very uh, superior to what people tend to think of uh, video conferencing tr- traditionally. And so we're seeing a lot of firms doing this, particularly because there's so much business now between America and India or America and China or, or Europe and, and India and China. And those really don't lend themselves to, to flying anymore. And, and you do see very s- increased interest among a lot of companies in cutting back on, on business travel via technology. Globalization actually now is pretty pervasive across industries. I mean, it started primarily with manufacturing industries making things, you know, first in Japan, then Taiwan, now China. But now increasingly the, the services businesses are doing it as well. The big banks, the big insurance companies, companies like CSC having more and more of their health facilities overseas. So it's both the physical goods and the services are doing it and therefore both operate much more uh, globally collaborative than than they used to and more and more alike. Uh, and therefore, the use of technology actually doesn't vary tremendously, some more than others. But everybody now has an interest in using IT for, for productive global teams that operate increasingly on a, a 24 by 7 basis. And that just happens to be quite energy efficient, uh, but it also is faster, cheaper, and in many ways a superior way for a lot of companies to operate.